control them. I guess I'll have to shoot them. Let's try not to hurt them if we can. No, I look, York, we have barrels, goddammit. Shoot them. I don't know if there's any repercussion if he kills them or not. This is the I'm also currently watching Mr. Robot, and so it's like this is the second thing I'm watching or whatever where I'm an imaginary voice inside the main character's head. Kind of a I feel like I'm cheating on Mr. Robot with uh, Deadly Promotion. You are. You don't need to shave, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he gets money. And is it going to do him any good at this point in the game? Answer is no. <laughs> he can't go shopping, because the shopkeepers are out there in zombie. Are you sure you don't want to shave again first? Very <laughs> Maybe a quick wank. Uh -oh. Off you go. Off you go. I'm not sure who the old man is. I think I think it's Zack. That's actually Zack. Did a child draw the <laughs> backdrops? <laughs> George is dead. You've got Long no lived way to George. run. No George. Way to run. Oh right, George. <laughs> he was a funny one. I gave him a toy locket, and he was so impressed, <laughs> so moved. So has Emily been sleeping but for like two days? He wasn't um, very dead. Yeah, I mean, she was unconscious was when Kaysen drove away with her. Him too long to discover the Red Sea. I think Kaysen just had her here smacking her until she knocks out every now and then. Well, her shirt's open. I, I think it's fair to suspect he was, uh... Is it? Yep. I, th I think it's it's I'm potentially possible that he was being a bad guy in... Oh, but I can't allow that now, can you? York, you left her to me in my... No, you're right. I okay, I'll leave. But you didn't. She's got the red tree growing out of her loins. That, that's you gotta be a euphemism for menstruation. <laughs> People don't say loins as much as they used to. Oh, <laughs> indeed it is. My fun with Emily ended just a moment ago. Oh, yeah. Good timing, I guess. Fantastic moment. Like eating a full course dinner that ends with the ultimate dessert. What? He's got an accent now. Yeah, he's like going foghorn leghorn here. My past, and she took in every word. <laughs> Cut out your nonsense. I told you, no more talk. Why did you miss? I was, I was, uh, yeah, I was feeling up. I say, I say, her right. boobies, boy, her <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Boiling from the bottom of your stomach. That's what makes little men create such great and amazing history. What are you calling little? Just like tiny ants that make giant ants. What are you calling an anthill? What are we... Everybody loves to fucking pontificate about shit that doesn't make any sense. You yeah. Know, just well, you hear uh, Willie the dog's uh, uh, final monologue. <laughs> no wonder why I keep failing. Casey, stop. The next one will pierce you between your eyes. Eugenics. <laughs> he says failing at keeping a diet, but shortly we know the real reason. It's me. I'm here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. That's not true. Also, Mark? that's not what your subtitle said. Hmm? Is that you? No. It's not me. Oh, thank God. York. You. I. Emily, you. no. That isn't me. York. You. <laughs> you. 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 Emily! It's weird because they're not quite polygons, but they're not quite, like, fully <laughs> rendered, so. Ew! <laughs> Alright, so the Venom symbiote is taking control of them. York. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 
It's it was just a physical sap- thing. It didn't mean anything. Hurry, come over here. We need to get you to the hospital. Or a sapling by planting a seed, I too. I, for, uh, I can't go to you. Ickifying the metaphor there. He's kind of Johnny Appleseed. I, right? Yuck. I've been soiled. No, that's not that's true. That's where the red seed comes from. You have a heart that can't be soiled. They have doctors for that, you know. No matter what happens to your body, you are still yourself. York. I... Is this a metaphor for I... abortion rights? I... I... Uh... Blood down the thighs. Wow, Jesus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, Emily, maybe, uh, maybe let's pull back on the everything's gonna be all right there. Getting these saplings to sprout requires a certain technique. Okay, let's just shoot him. I mean, seriously. Like, is there any reason not to at this point? So the sapling he's been carrying around and the sapling he gave to York came out of dying women? Hey, you know, these two people have, like, a common interest there. Shoot me. So let's, you know, maybe be like, hey, do you like hurting women? I like studying. Let me die. Please. They're, they're a team in the next game. <laughs> we just need to get her to Usha, and she'll be okay, I'm sure. He solves murders. He murders people. Together they fight <laughs> crime and make it to... It's like law and order, you know? Mm-hmm. Zach. Yeah, yeah? What should I do? Law and order, Greenville. Let's maybe not shoot Emily. That's my my theory there. Here we come to the ethical question. Or moral dilemma, or some variant. Let her go! Does Grown Up York have that mold? No. You pointed out every flashback. Remove that sack from her body, Jason. I, I, okay. Xander, it's too late. I'll blame the ADHD. I can't do anything to stop it. Please, darling, shoot me. I'd rather die. So, Kason was there when her dad killed her mom, and we never remembered it until now? die. Yes. (laughs) You would think... Even if we'd forgotten Kaysen, that we would have, like, remembered the fucking sapling growing out of her stomach. Well, I mean, presumably it's some suppressed memory stuff, I guess. Enough with a maniacal laugh. Nobody really does that. Ugh. I say that, and like I'll I'll turn on the news tomorrow, and, and times we must purge them. Uh, Spicer will be doing that laugh at a press exist. conference. <laughs> I hope he realizes his name is going to be a synonym for lying asshole in the future. <sighs> Smug. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't do it. However, Dad, I'm getting some real mixed can. messages here, okay? When the time comes and you have to make that decision, make the right I think this is not an accurate memory. Okay, Dad? Did you catch that? Yeah. My world is turned upside down! Zach. <laughs> you don't have to repeat yourself just to make sure everyone got it. Morgan. <laughs> Francis. Zach Morgan Francis? Zach Morgan. What are you doing? Francis. I don't think dying people do that. Zach <laughs> Morgan. Um, um, do you know how to turn your dad off? Because this is a little weird. You notice Kaysen has an I animated cowlick in the back? Zach. I've never noticed that before. I mean, it, it actually flows and flutters. But, um... So, also, Kaysen murdered us as a child? It seems odd. Knocked him out, I think. And gave him a scar and turned his hair white. <laughs> He's that. Which is not a thing, the turning the hair white. <laughs> it's okay. My I'm dad knew someone that went bald overnight. It hair does I'll turn white, but not bald. Oh, right. 
Not all at once, no. I mean, it still has to grow out of your scalp. It doesn't. The stuff that's yeah. already out of your Who head you? doesn't change. My name is York. Me and you. We'll I was scared so you. hard. Okay, Zach. A stylist came into I'm my you. house and bleached my hair. <laughs> now, give me your hand. Oh, he got mixed mixed eyes out of it. It's funny how often a a cut or a scar changes the color of the eye instead of like puncturing it. I remember. I traded places with York. York, the other me. My other personality. Yeah, it was an alternate personality story all along. Alright. Zach, please. Why is she Shoot. calling him Zach? Yeah. She, did yeah. she get to see the flashback too? No, everyone in town has been talking to Zach all along. It's only York's memory has York, changed what they said. What should I do? Tell me what to do, York. Oh, oh, God. Yes. Zach, you have to decide for yourself what you must do. I, I hope what the, the player does all options here. But he's not gonna... Because you can try the other options and they, they, are, some they result in a fail. world that must be extracted. Hmm. Extracted? No matter what. Just decided Even if to that means losing way, someone that you love. This iris is not round. The yellow one. In that close-up, it was, like, hexagonal. Looks like he missed. Yep. I can't do it. I, I guess we're a bad shot. I can't. I, can't I think it's do a little it. unfair of the game I to make you choose Emily. to shoot Emily, and then the character can't do it in I'm a cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Then this. Stop. Emily. We call this body and horror. Gentlemen, <laughs> and now the grand finale. That's a little meta, Casein. <laughs> meta, Casein. <laughs> I never met a case on it. I never met a case. Yeah. But the case on's go rolling along, I'm told. I wasn't used to soil at all. Uh, okay, good. You're beautiful. Uh, used as soil? Most Are we playing the rape metaphor seen. still? I, I think so. <laughs> Thank you. And, I mean, it's the double entendre, right? Right. I Trust the French to come up with that phrase. Sorry if the commentary is taking the pathos out of the moment, but if you, if you want serious drama, this really isn't the place to find it. Oh. Oh, it's okay, Emily, because now we've been abducted by aliens, and they will cure you. <laughs> it's loading scr- oh. Yes, it is. No, oh, I remember the red goddamn dress. I am not convinced by the, the forest goddess shtick. It's... Emily, no. You I aren't guess, supposed to go over there. I'm not. That's not the way. It seems silly Come and back, tacky. Emily. It, is it a different voice actor playing Zack? It might be. I don't know. You're it's interesting they include Thomas, though, because he didn't really have a, a redemption moment as he died. <laughs> they... I'm a little jealous. I wish Thomas had stuck around more so we'd get to know more about Thomas. Hey, stand up, Zach. It's up to you. His alternate personality is going into the goddess forest. One dude and a bunch of girls. Emily, I finally got to meet you face to face. Sounds like a different actor. But you actor. had to go with York, didn't you? He always gets the, the girl. Me. He's a good guy. I, if, if only there were you some way to find too, out, right? like some network or a web of, of information and ended up pulling me back out of that room I... he's got a better sure, smile he'll make you very happy yeah uh did he cry there it was so fucking white that i couldn't tell yes all right 
or it was this is, okay. <laughs> Why so serious? Jason's like, I maybe I should have attacked you during this time, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just having fun. I'm gonna wait while you have a moment, imagining a. Why did you bring Zack back? Who the hell are you two? How did Inside you Inside of Kason's mouth room? is lit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Zack was... So Kason knows that he's been... Yes, he... Perhaps orchestrated the, the change or the... Split. <laughs> All I know is that he looks so much fucking better with white hair. Yeah, he does. I mean, his his model has changed very little, but the the change of color palette um, it looks better. And Kason looks like a big purple scrotum. I could see that. I mean, he also looks like uh, the, the X Men <laughs> and Violet Beauregard. Yeah. Violet, Violet. <laughs> Kason, as the final, final boss, gets three faces. <laughs> Shoot him. The three faces. The original plan from Swery was to do a series of games with the same uh, characters, Treat, treating the characters like actors. So he'll do a new show with using actors. That was his big plan. He hasn't really done it, though he did do a game called DDDD, or 4D. It had a character named Kason, but didn't look like it or sound like it. sort of travel in time, or he travels in memories, and he's trying to solve the murder of his wife. So I'm assuming that Kason is flying all around the place using, like, fart and what was that space in the I just get gassy looking in there. Yeah. It's all Purple jelly comes out. It's done. Okay, Casey. There, your health bar is gone, dude. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. That's not Casey. Uh, this got a little weird. <gasps> Didn't die. Also, his clothes Zach have the bullet holes. Morgan. Francis. Zack. Morgan. It does kind of make sense now why everybody was talking about a scar that gave him a different color. Right. Eye. That, that was kind of a clever bit. Humans are so foolish. So foolish. There's nothing. You said humans. What the fuck is he? That's a good question. I believe it is never satisfactorily answered. I think he's someone from the Red Lodge. Hmm. So he's an owl, essentially. I, I have. He's our. He's, he's our Bob. Yes, I, I have a strong, strong suspicion that was what was in Swery's mind when he created Casey. Anyway, he's kind of a. Uh, he's he's a little bit like a. Uh, oh, what the hell were those things called? He's a little bit like the. Uh, the farting aliens from Doctor Who, right? Because it's like, it, it seems as if, like, his essence or whatever is so much that it's, that's why he's so big. It just kind of uh, is barely contained by 
Yeah. Now he turns into a toad. Alright, sort of. Like a pineapple toad. <laughs> in a very anime looking uh, Yeah. A bit grittier and veinier than an anime usually does. In my limited experience. <laughs> and now one of my least favorite kinds of gameplay. Running away. 